everyone, my name is Jedi Master Nick. Well, I'm not really a Jedi Master, it's a, a bit of form that I got from a, a corrupt university. But anyway, this is The Empire Strikes Back on the ZX Spectrum, published by Domark in 1988. The sequel to the original game Star Wars from 87, and again based on an arcade cabinet by Atari from 1985. It features vector graphics again, it's quite similar to the first game Star Wars, but it's been tweaked to follow the plot of the uh, original, well, the second film. Good music there. The game also came out on the Amstrad CPC, the Atari ST, Commodore Amiga, and the uh, Commodore 64. It's set over four stages. Uh, basically, the Probots, which are those um, Imperial droids on Hoth, the ice planet at the start of the film, shooting the Walkers, the at, at things, then the TIE Fighters, and then avoiding the Asteroids in space. You are Luke Skywalker, and it's a dark time for the Rebels. Um, the Empire is, well, up to no good. They're launching their Probots. Empire Strikes Back, as you probably know, the film came out in 1980 and was directed by Irvin Kirshner with fantastic music by John Williams, who doesn't feature here. We'll put it on easy mode. I do have a cheat for infinite shields, but we'll see if we can get away without using that. So here comes Darth Vader and his see-through Star Destroyer. Yeah, that's good technology, that see-through. Um, yellow Starfield. Music at the start doesn't repeat in the game. Right, shoot the probots. Here we go. Um, I do like this already. Um, the enemy shooting at you, that's been modified from the first game, so that looks a, a bit more skillful. Um, up, down, left and right, as we fly this, whatever this ship is, I presume, it, looking at the front of it, it might be a sand speeder, as we go over the ice planet Hoth, but it's obviously at night time. There's a lot of probots, in the original film there was just one, but here there's lots to shoot. They're trying to give away the location of the rebel base. As soon as we shoot a group of them, we get a letter, we get a number of letters, it spurs out the word Jedi. I think we've got one letter, but there it goes. So first level is the Probots, then the Walkers, then the Tyres, then the Asteroids. First impressions, it looks a bit more polished than the original Star Wars, but still not quite as good, oh, there's an at out there, still not quite as good as 3D Star Strike, which is brilliant. No trench run on this one, of course. Let's get round this dog at at thing. I don't know why there's stars uh, on the planet's surface, that's a bit of a flaw there, but good vector graphics, I am enjoying this. You see the shields in the top middle, Every time we get shot, they go down to um, a score. It goes down to zero. Our ship has been blown up. But this is on easy mode. If I complete it on easy mode, which I'm not sure I will do, but if I do, then we'll have another go on hard mode. Just, just have a look there. You can just rest your but your finger on the fire button. It do automatic shots. Um, it is bit maybe a bit too easy on easy mode. I've only lost one shield so far. We've spelt out J and E from Jedi, as you can see on the top right. Hopefully we'll get another letter in a minute, then go to the next stage versus the TIE Fighters in space. Um, that's a Scout Walker, more prevalent in Return of the Jedi. Now apparently the game, on the spectrum at least, Return of the Jedi come out before Empire Strikes Back for some reason. So they come out out of order. Right, here we go. Right, TIE Fighters. We must destroy about five of these and also shoot these um, snowflake things that are firing at us, but they do look a bit more advanced than the first game Star Wars. If you haven't already, check out that game so you can compare the two. But this isn't bad. This is quite enjoyable, this. I presume we're in an X-Wing now. Quite fluid in, um, animation of the vector graphics. That's quite impressive. Yeah, lots of like the Starfield game from uh, left to right or vice versa, depending on how you're steering this thing. I'm controlling it on the joystick, but it does work a bit like an analog um, stick, really. Right, there we go. There's the Star Destroyer there. We haven't got too many to kill. We've got two shields left. How are we doing now? We sp that's the D going up to spell out the word Jedi. Boof. We're almost there, to be honest with you. Am I going to complete this first goal? Wonders never cease. So easy mode must be particularly easy if I'm in the control. Take out this guy. That got him. Did 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 it. The asteroids. Did 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 did. You're not actually going to fly through an asteroid field, are you? The chances of getting through to that are billion zillion trillion and six and a half to one or something. Right. They look very circular. These asteroids. Did 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 as the music went, sort of. Now, if you stick to the left on this, you think you've got a bit more chance to go up and down. 
I've got no shields left. C3PO is saying something, called it that yellow bit. Oh, he's doing the odds here, you. Is he? Did you know that? Well, he didn't get a chance to finish it, because we're through the storm. That's it, I think we've done it. There goes the Millennium Falcon. Well done, Han Solo. You've done it again, you son of a gun. A time of recording, there we go. No bonus for easy stage. Oh, curse you, Darth Vader, and your silly blue hat. As at uh, time of recording, they are actually working on um, a Han Solo film. If it's come out already, let me know how it went below. But we've gone straight onto medium mode now. It goes straight to the next one, but we've got no shields, unfortunately. Right, we've got the Jedi spelt in the middle. There seems to be energy depleting there. It must be something to do with something. But quite basic this, you'll get hold of it quite quickly. It's got a nice retro feel to it. 1988 by Domark. Some of Domark's games were much better than others, to be honest with you. Hard driving on the Amiga well, was a bit of a disappointment. Well, drive harder, I think it was. Right, get stuff, Probots. You're not going to tell everyone where our base is. Is that it? We're on the next way. Right, here we go. This might be a bit tough to get through with no shields. Uh, the Atat fired at us. I think we might have taken a hit there. No, we got around it. Yep, we're down. Oh dear. Now Luke has to get out and um, in the film at least and put a, a bomb in there. Good animation there, the Atat. That's good. They've done well. I'm always impressed by um, vector graphics on the Spectrum. How on earth did they program that? I think we'll have another go after I put my initials in. We'll try to. I will go on hard mode. I won't use the poke for infinite shields because it seems to be a fairly easy learning curve on this one. Let's see if I can get through the first stage. Hard. Darth Vader's executor is searching for the rebel hideout. That's it. Are you sure? It could be loads of people, smugglers or anyone really. No, that's the system. Right. Boom, I'm going to examine an asteroid or a meteorite. It didn't fall that far from here, says Luke. But he's got the um, snow speeder out. And hopefully they don't close the gate on off because it gets quite cold in the evening. Uh, if anyone comes out for me, searching for me on their torn torn, it'll probably freeze before they hit the first marker. That's what I reckon anyway. What do you think? How many times have you watched Empire Strikes Back? Still my favourite of all the Star Wars films, but I, yeah, must have watched it in the hundreds, maybe. Boom, 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 boom. Keep my finger depressed on the, uh, the button here. It never depletes of energy, this laser, so you don't have to wait for your energy to um, gradually build up. You've got superpower straight away. We're on hard mode. We've got J for Jedi, and we've got all our shields still. And we completed level one. Off to fight the walkers. Yes. That got him. Launch tow cable. Now there's no there's no part of this game where you can launch the tow cable to fell the at at walkers. That doesn't happen here. Bit of a design flaw, isn't it? They could get pulled down with um tow cables, but there we go. Surely they would have thought of that in the design process. Can I complete this in hard mode? I do like, although this is better than the first Star Wars game, marginally, I do miss not having the trench run because that was quite exciting. Here it's just fighting different things. Control system is more or less the same. Always has a star field in where we're on the planet. There's E. E for Empire. Today will be a day long remembered. Maybe. Or we might, we might forget it in a couple of reviews, maybe. If you've got any comments about this game or Star Wars, then comment below. So it's not it's not as good as Star Wars Battlefront 2, is it, uh, by a long shot, but uh, it's good to see how these games develop. Uh, there are quite a few Star Wars games around. I haven't played this on the Atari CPC or the Atari ST. I'll have to make a note of it to come to it on the Amiga, because I, before before I started researching this, I didn't know it came out on the Amiga, so uh, we'll, uh, we'll get that in the, uh, the list of stuff to do. Commodore 64, is it as good on that? The vector graphics? On to stage three. I'm surprising myself here. Sometimes I surprise even myself. That can't be that hard. Shut up, liar. Right, boom, boom, boom. Just standard TIE fighters here. No interceptors or Darth Vader's special ship doesn't turn up. I need to come in with Porkins. Where's... Oh, Porkins was dead by now, hadn't he? He got killed as everyone was fighting the first, um... 
Death Star. I think the only survivor from that really was Luke Skywalker and maybe Wedge Antilles, who didn't want to return for The Force Awakens. Why not? I don't know. He's still alive somewhere. I would have liked to have seen Wedge. Shoot the TIE Fighters for a bonus. Oh, getting out. Right, we're near the end of this stage as well. Got three shields left. Looks like we're going to make it to the asteroids at this point. Come on, get the D. The D for in the Jedi. There we go, it's released. The D, the first D is away. Now, we don't want to land on that asteroid that's got the big worm creature in it, the snake thing. Yeah, the ground feels a bit, bit uneven. This ain't no cave, said Han Solo. Oof! Right, we've only got one shield left. Can we weave around? I think we've... Normally, if you just crash into one uh, asteroid, you've had it. Never tell me the odds, says Han Solo. Now, see, 3 is going to say the odds again, is he? He never learns. Oh, game over. The Millennium Falcon has exploded into a million pieces this time round, and the Empire probably, probably destroys everyone, unless Luke can do something. Good, good, good. Yeah, it's, it's quite enjoyable, this game. I quite like it. It's clever, it's well-coded. Not as good as 3D Star Strike, but still quite good nonetheless. Better than 3D Star Fighter, which is a little bit dull. Um, good, but better than uh, the original Star Wars there. Yeah, I think we'll leave that there. Hope you liked having a look at that game. That was The Empire Strikes Back, published by Domark from 1988, and Kavart converted converted from the arcade cabinet from Atari in 1985 a good vector graphics shooter and based of course on the film from 1980 got any comments about this game uh, any others in the series any Star Wars games on any retro system or any facts about the films then put that below always like hearing from you and to next time take great care of yourself don't run into asteroids and goodbye goodbye